Tier 7, 8 tier list remake. Now, so, sorry for the long wait for this one. I had some very important exams and school events I had to attend to. But now, once I'm done with that, we can continue on to the series. And here we are on Tier 7, 8. Now, I think this will be a long one because you see that? That's a lot of items. Yeah, right. So strap in and prepare to hear me yap for probably like 20 minutes straight. Alright, here we go. First of all, the BMD4 hull. In my opinion, with this very fast speed and its hydro pneumatic suspension goes in 8. It also has 3 hull crew members, but unfortunately no ammo storage, so it doesn't go on S. It's just A for me. It works. It really works well. Weasel. I don't really see much appeal in this, though it can work as a rat vehicle. Then again, its real multiplier is not very good. So I'll put this on uh, C, that's in the reserve of B. Type 96A. This used to be in tier 9, 10, unfortunately. Actually, fortunately, it got down tier because it was quite underpowered there. Now, its front armor is pretty good with the ERA. Without it, it's paper. And its lower hull plate weakness is quite big. It also has a really bad reverse speed, so I'm gonna honestly put this on... Since it can work as a flanker and an aggressive flanker at that, it, I'm gonna give it a B. R3. Now this is also a really fast rad vehicle. But it's a wheel vehicle and it has worse reload multiple than R3, but I mean weasel. Though it, it's very fast, so I'm honestly gonna put this on B below the Titan 96. T55 trash armor, suboptimal speed, and lots of ammo, it's can easily explode. I don't really want to put this on B, so C below above Weasel. Maybe below actually Weasel can play less of that. Chieftain Hall, this is really good in my opinion. Well not really good, just good. Its reverse speed is abysmal. And it has a lower front plate weakness, but its upper plate is really strong, so I'm gonna put it on B below the Type 96 because it's slow. Below the R32 actually, it has a slow acceleration. Type 74. Now, this thing has a hydro pneumatic suspension system, and its front armor is decent. I think it's slightly better than the T55, but at least it's faster, so I'm gonna also put this on B above the R30 and the Type 96. There we go. IS3. This thing has also decent front armor, and it's a heavy tank. So honestly, I cannot put it put it above these three tanks because they are basically early MBTs. So I'm gonna put it below the chieftain. Yeah, below the chieftain. Object two seven seven. Now this is a really good tank. Actually, it's pretty fast in acceleration, and it has an okay reverse speed. And its armor is actually really good too. And and I'm gonna put it above the Type seventy four. Honestly, with my experiences, my personal experiences with it, it's a super good tank. So I'm gonna put it on a below, above the BMD. Challenger 1. Now this thing has a massive lower hull plate weakness, lower front plate weakness, uh, basically the same thing. And it just doesn't really offer much at all. The weakness is very big. It also has a driver hatch weakness and the sides do not have side skirts. So the sides are extremely weak as well. Though it's still faster than a T55, so I can give it a above T55 on C because it can still be used for aggressive flanking. XT1A XWA. In my opinion, this is pretty good. It has a good acceleration, good speed, and all of its ammunition in the hull are in blowouts. So you won't die from an ammunition explosion if you're using this hull unless your turret does not have a blowout. It's gonna be above the BMD on A. M3A3 Boss 2. This is a very big IFV with ERA. I must say it has ERA, so it's usable. But in my opinion, it's just a bit too big to be ranked in the same as a BMD, and it's slower and doesn't have the hydro pneumatic suspension. So it's gonna be on B above, actually below the Type 96. MMWT hull, gas hydro pneumatic suspension, good speed, no armor though, you can die on a, from a machine gun to this on the sides, even on the front too, wait no, oh, the front has near, uh, any array and composite, so you won't, die, you won't be dying from a 12.7 to the front. Still it's very quick and it's relatively low profile, though it's a bit long, 
and it just goes on high B. Oh, wait, actually, no, A below the BMP. Just because. Hmm. Maybe I may rank it higher, but no, it's just not yet because it only has one crew member. The BMP has three. AMX 50. Now, they, sh they nerfed this thing's full armor, if I remember correctly. It used to be pretty good, so but now it's just decent. So I'm just gonna place it on B. It's a heavy tank, but it's pretty quick at its job. I think it's faster than the Chieftain, I could be wrong on that. So if it's faster than the Chieftain, it's above it. If it's below, it's below the Chieftain, above the IS-3. You guys can uh, ch go check in the game yourself and adjust this tier list accordingly. So I'm just gonna, for now, put it above the Chieftain. Just because it's lower plate is smaller. Why do I have two object 277s here? Okay, hold on. Let's just ignore this one. Alright, strv 103 a This is the early version without the cage armor at the front and the other on dozer blade at the bottom, but it's still pretty good. It's the uh, really angled front armor. You, nothing will really penetrate it um, except for a chemical ammunition round such as a heat shell or an ATGM really and it's really good for area denial unless someone shoots your battle honestly because of its good armor but it's relatively mid speed it's going on B above all of that just because of its good front armor now XT3 out of Fox small hull pretty good acceleration but nothing else Actually, it's pretty good, so I'm gonna put it on A. BTR4E, this is a very big wheeled hull. It has all around cage armor, but there's nothing really uh, too interesting about it. So I'm just gonna put it on B. Below, below the R3, below the AMX. I, I just honestly do not have much experience with this, but with the experience I had, it's mid. So I'm just gonna put it on B. Remember, this is still good. It's, it's still on B. Lebrunkra. Le, Le how do you pronounce that? I probably butchered that pronunciation badly. Or the, I'm just gonna say the AMX-54, because that's its real name. And it used to have 500 millimeters of upper front plate armor. Now it's like around 200, 280, if I remember. So it's heavily nerfed. Heat shells can now go through it, so it used to be on A up, up there because of its area denial capabilities, but now there's just really not much use to the tank because its front armor is a weakness to a, a heat shell basically or an ATGM, so it's gone from, it goes on C. Puma. Now this is a pretty good rat wheel vehicle, and you can put a turret on it. So on this list, I think the only turret you can put on this thing is the... Yes, the tow turret. Though that's a crate item, so you good luck getting that. Nothing else you can really fit because it's too either too big. Yeah, it's too big. Everything here is too big except for the tow turret. Wait, that's not supposed to be on mine. It's just going to be on B below R3 because it's slower. T64A now. This is a Type 96, but without its ERA, but its front armor can actually hold off against shots and it has a smaller lower front plate. So with it being like that, so it's gonna be this over here, right above the Type 74, because its front is really good. Rogetto, a heavy tank, another heavy tank, but it has actually good protection. And it just goes on B, though. Because it's not the main battle tank, it's still a heavy tank. It's still pretty, pretty slow, so I can't rank it any higher than B. Because you need to be fast to be on A. Fast and either fast or decently armored, or not decently, like good armored, like the Object 277 there. This is going to be below the MBTs and above the Bus 3. You want Centauro. This is a. Uh, I don't really have much experience on it, honestly. BTR4 SPH, no. AMX 30, now this is a better type 74 hull. Yes, there we go. T55 AM1, this is the actually good T55 hull. 
It is the main battle tank, an early main battle tank at that, but it's still very good due to it having front composite armor. It can withstand shots from both kinetic energy to chemical energy rounds. And it just goes, honestly, it's on below the T64. Yes, it's below the T64 and above the, those two, all of those. Now, but you're saying the Type 96 should be higher because it has pretty good front armor. Well, I'm saying that because the front armor is good because of the ERA. Without it, it's toast. Leopard 2K. Honestly, I don't have much experience on this, but my friend said it's good. After I looked at the stats too, the front armor is decent. Still, I cannot rank it anywhere because I cannot see it. There's no, no experience on it. The battle pass or the mouse really armored hull, but it's extremely slow, so it's really only good for brawling with the enemies and angling with it makes it very excellent, very good. Now, I, it doesn't deserve a C, I, in my opinion, it deserves a B above the IS 3. That's pretty much it. Wait, no, the IS 3 can at least flank, it's above this tier 4, too. It's gonna be below, it's gonna be. How did I say it? This is not fair at all. It's gonna be below C on C. The Challenger one can actually rank higher because of its high mobility. So I'm gonna put it above Chieftain and above the AMX. Roycott, no experience. Battle Pass 50M. This is a pretty good call, though its acceleration is not that good. So it's gonna be on the low B. MX50 will actually also transfer down once. On to the turrets, we have the BLs above Alpha. Now this thing has it's like it's like a gaslighting turret because the crew is located below the turret. Now if the ammunition was a blowout, it, this would be an instant A. But it it isn't, so it's gonna be on B. Oh actually, I just remembered this thing has a seven 7 degree elevation and depression angle, so it's gonna be trash at uh, most things, so I'm gonna put it on C. Right there. That's where the turrets start. MV4202 has a stabilizer. The turret armor is not really that good. So it's gonna be below the B, above the BLs above. Type 74, stabilized turret with the cast turret. It's quite inconsistent on the armor, but at, uh, so it's gonna be on... Uh, no B, it at least it has better armor than the 4202 there. Roycat stabilized turret, it also has an FCS system and thermos if I remember correctly. So it's gonna be above the Type 74. Swimo, no experience. Universal turret, also no experience. The AMX 30 p 2 This thing is an Im basically an improved Type 74 with FCS and thermos if I remember correctly, but it doesn't have a laser range finder just yet. And no stabilizer, so it's kind of equal to the Type 74 depending on which trade-off you want. Just because of its FCS system, I'm gonna put it above it, since the stabilizer... Hmm, actually, it just depends on your place. So I'll pretend these two are on the exact same spot. Chieftain. A really armored turret. A really armored stabilized turret. It's gonna be on A. No questions asked. IS-3. Quite an armored turret, but no stabilizer. Uh, heavy tanks are uh, pretty, pretty slow. I'm gonna put it below the Type 74. Spat 155, no experience. M48 Super, this thing is pretty good against CE munitions. Not pretty good, it's excellent. Not even top tier CE munitions could uh, penetrate it, if I remember correctly. I think only the XL1K can. I may be wrong on that though. I know that the T14, T14 Armata's gun on the heat shell cannot penetrate it on its. using its. Uh, Heat shell, so it's gonna be on B above all of these guys. M3 Bradley. Now, wait, wait, I skipped the T55. Whoops. This thing is also a pretty armored turret, but alas, it's pretty slow. So it's gonna be above below these two. Yes. M3 Bradley, stabilized turret with two deployable ATGM launchers. It's gonna be on B above guys because of that double toe launchers and the BMD the BMP2 this is this thing also has an ATGM launcher but it's not that good well actually it's decent it 
only has a capacity of one and its reload time is pretty long so I'm just gonna put it on B but below these two yes there we go object 277 turret stabilized turret good armor and it has a 14.5 millimeter secondary gun it's going on a below chieftain you want Centaur on our experience. Battle Pass 50M recently, its turret phase got buffed to like 300 millimeters. So it's pretty good, but it doesn't have a stabilizer, so it's not going on A, unfortunately, for all you German fans. It's just going to stay on B, above the IS-3. Actually, no. Actually, yeah, it's going above, below, above the IS-3, below T-55. Full 10, hot. He has a clip system along, alongside a whopping 6 ATG ammo launchers. No stabilizer yet, unfortunately. Still, with those 6 ATG ammo launchers, it's really good. So, it's going on... Hmm, let me think about it for a while. It's going below the Bradley. Just because of it lacks stabilization, SDRF90. This thing has a slightly worse ATGM. It launchers than the Bradley, and I think its third rotation speed is also slower. So I'm gonna have to put it below it and below the FL10 pod. Bagel Panzer. This thing also has an ATGM from my correctly, but I still don't have much experience on it. Leopard 2K. This thing does not have much armor, but it does have a 20 millimeter secondary commander control. Auto cannon on top of it, so it's going on B, and it also has stabilizer, and it's going above the Bradley. It's a 25. It's honestly a C, just because it lacks armor and it's an it's an AA. Rocketo C50. It's going to be on B because it lacks a stabilizer and it's a heavy tank. It's going to be below the T55. T55 AM1, this is an excellent turret. It also has a laser rangefinder. So it's going above the Chieftain because of its really good armor. Actually, it's below the Chieftain in terms of armor. So yeah, it's gonna be there. Cockerel 103105 turret. This is a really good fast turret with a blowout ammunition rack and two crew members. Auto loader. And it has an FCS system if I remember correctly and a laser rangefinder too. So it's gonna be. As a rat vehicle, it's on A. Expeditionary, it's also on A because of its uh, FCS and laser rangefinder. If I remember, it has a laser. If it doesn't, it still has a stereoscopic one at least. It's really good. The Battle Pass, it goes on C because of its super heavyweight. XT3R Fox, it's on A because it's a rat vehicle. Also has really good CE munition uh, protection there. With its all around composite screen on the turret. So I think that's it for the turrets. Yeah. Now just ignore that extra 277 there, we don't need that. On to the guns, we got the Broche. 100mm Broche. For a starter gun, it's pretty good though, it's reload time, it's uh, not the best. It still goes on uh, B. CSE. It always go goes on B. Above this, uh, the Broche. Faster reload. 84 PDR, it has an APDS RAM. It goes above the CSE. Heavy hitter. This thing has a really, really, really long reload, but it's an artillery cannon. It goes on C for its uh, lack of practicality. Though you can use it for sniping, I just don't really find it really appealing. Econish 2. A D. This thing only has 220mm of penetration and it's APHG. Though I guess you could argue that the 9 seconds of reload is uh, good. It's just not that good in my opinion. One of high freedom too. That's gonna be above the brochet. I think it has one 250mm of uh, penetration that's so gonna be above it, but it's reload time, it's not that good. No, so it's not ranking above that. 73mm 2A28, no experience. The 2A42, excellent for rats, goes on A. For its 18, I think it's 80mm of penetration and a high fire rate. 105mm CNF1. It goes on B above the CSC and also below the Pounder. 
German Punch, really big cannon with lots of damage. It goes on B because of its long reload below the 105CN. Can only 120 above the German punch due to its uh, faster reload and more penetration. L74, this thing goes on S. Has 4 seconds of base reload with an APDS round and it's 105mm. Do I need to explain more? The Molotov, it's on A for its diverse ammunition choices and really good heat shell. See an F3, 19mm. It goes above the 105. CNF1 and it also goes above 94 BDR. BK90. This thing has a 400 mm heat shell penetration, so it goes on A. Below the Molotov, since it doesn't have kinetic energy options. Su23 Twin. No experience. BL10 105. When 52, I mean, whoops. This thing has a very big cannon with a really long reload. But if you hit someone with it, I assure you they will die. Since we could, it has a long reload though, it's gonna be below the 105 heavy hitter since it, it lacks a heat shell. 106 recoilless, no experience. 19mm M41. Worse than the BK90, so it's gonna be on high B. Below the CN90. Fussler 58. No, not much experience on that. 75, full of no experience. KW, okay, L100. This is just a slightly better Econish 2. So it's gonna be above it on the. S7130 goes on B. It's a 130mm cannon, so it's sure you the enemies will the enemy will die in one shot. It's gonna be going above the German punch. Just slightly above the German punch and it has a faster reload. If it doesn't have a faster reload, you can adjust the fuel list accordingly and put it below the German punch. Toichi, no experience. L11A1. This thing is a really good gun with an APDS and a hash shell, so it's gonna be below the CNF30 because of its slower reload rate and below the M41 again because of its slow reload rate. Actually below below the 84 too. Last but well, not least for the cannons, we get the Bass Cannon. Not much experience in it since it's a rework, so can't really put it up there. 87, 17 gauge G Labs. We're moving on to the daily items. So, no experience. Battle packs, live hard. Really good for sniping. That's all I can say about it. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna use the accordingly because this is a hull, so I'm gonna put it on the hulls. Accordingly, it's gonna be on below the Challenger, above the Challenger 1. XTPR Expeditionary. This is the Hulk. Yes, I don't have much experience on it. Trackadora, why would you use this? 115mm U5TS. This is a, uh, a Molotov with more heat shell and AP penetration, but it has a slightly longer reload. 0.7 seconds longer, so it's a, in my opinion, but that, but that 0.7 doesn't really matter because it has a better ammunition choices, so it's gonna be above it. Bazooka, no experience. T64 BVMP Hulk. I think. Yeah, that's the hull. Wait, no. This is the turret. It's the turret, so it's gonna be on A. Since it does not have FCS and no thermals, zoom is pretty uh, decent, I guess. And it's it's just I don't know. I don't know to say it. I think it has a bit slightly worse armor so actually no it's above it no it doesn't have a laser range right? it's going up below it just once motorcycle set now my friend said this is really good and in my opinion it can be really good but you need to be skilled to use it so it's gonna be on me but above all of these because it's just so annoying to deal with and it has a brimstone launcher and a 20 millimeter main gun fossil alarm this used to be on s tier but since it's rework, I haven't used it, so no experience. XT2R export early. This thing has an acceleration of 9 with no armor whatsoever. So it's definitely worse than the Fox. So I'm just gonna put it on B. Above the bus. 
Yes. T64 BBM via hull. This is just a copy of a T55 hull, just slightly longer. Because of its because of it being longer, I'm gonna put it below it. XTPR Expeditionary Turret. This thing has Gen 1 thermals and FCS, and though its rangefinder is still stereoscopic, it does have uh, APS. Yeah, APS. It's going on A. On the turrets, uh, it's going above the BVMP here. The Hat G, no experience. The Toe Turret, it's going on no experience. Now, I know this just says HU right there, but this is the Humvee hull. For some reason, I cannot open it in the inspector. So, this is no experience. And Object 477, let's make a special roll right there. Just to put that thing right down there. Copy. And you go there. Yes. So, this is the final tier list. Oh, that's long. Now, only the... L74 is on S, so let me just revise it for the final time. Just let me just look at this list for a moment. Yes. See, I see it needs some more love. I see it's gonna be below, above those guys. Yes, that seems pretty accurate to me. Alright. That's the final tier list right here. You may look at it. Let me scroll up all the way. Scroll down a bit. Scroll down. That is all so far. So, right. Thank you for watching this video. And yes, this has been our longest one yet at 26 minutes. 27 very soon. Um, I'll be waiting for you on the next one. It's going to be releasing tomorrow. It will be tier 9, 10. And then it will finally be the tier 11, 12. And... Yeah, that's it for now. Thank you for watching this one and see you on the next one.